What's cracking everybody? Welcome back to the channel. New video. So <clears throat> I wasn't planning on uh doing anything on this channel today. Um I finally got my my stream deck working again, so I was gonna do something on the other channel. Hopefully I'll be able to do that today. Um those of you interested, um people have been asking me to do a new Johnny um from Soft White Underbelly. I'll try to do that. Um, it probably won't get monetized, but um, if I can record it, I'll, I'll put it out there as long as it's not red. So today's video um, is going to be different. Like I said, I'm not really focused on what's trending. Uh, maybe at some point I'll do something that's trending, but right now I'm just getting back to uh, what's on my mind, what's important to me, uh, what I think should be important to the raza. Um, to the black and brown community, right? Um, so, this video could actually hurt my channel. This video, I don't expect to get a lot of views. It's all good. So, as you guys know, I don't watch the news. I don't watch movies. I don't watch TV. Um, there's too much programming going on. Um, it, it, it's amazing how things are now, okay? So what is on the news? What has been on the news? Because even though I don't watch it, people will send me stuff through IG and I'll see the little snippets, right? And um, I don't understand why people still support who they support. But we'll get into it. So what's been on the news? Um, some aliens landed in Vegas? Really? Um, meanwhile, there was a, a substance found in the White House while a known um, drug addict and weirdo was there. And um, there's no investigation of that. Meanwhile, we have a former president. A former president, let's see, hold on, hold on. A former president, a billionaire, arrested on bullshit charges that are going to get dropped sooner or later. Millions and millions are spent trying to keep this dude from running, right? And we have an immigration, um, an immigration department led by those in Washington that are snatching up brown children and placing them with people they do not know. And we do not know, well, we do know what winds up happening to a lot of them now. You know, um, when Obama was president, Obama built all those cages that Trump was blamed for. He built them all. And um, under the uh, Obama-Biden administration, they had this policy, you know, they went, they, they've been on the news when, you know, when, when, you know, Trump was president, why is he keeping them in cages? But people don't know that um, while Obama and Biden were running the country, they would grab those kids, they would have them detained, and they would release them to whoever claimed them. That was very dangerous. Trump said, I need proof. Somebody comes for these kids, I need proof that they know these kids, that they're family. I'm not just releasing them to some damn people that just come and claim a kid. And he caught heat for it. And just yesterday in Santa Barbara, Santa Barbara County, South County, actually. Santa Barbara County, you had ice in the morning running around in Goleta trying to snatch up Mexicans, brown people. Then they went into my neighborhood trying to snatch up brown people. 
Now, I don't want nobody else, no other minorities to take this the wrong way, but I think I can speak as far as this for the majority of the, of the raza that this whole ice thing um, it's, it's, it's bullshit. There are people of every uh, color that are here illegally. But when do we hear of them going after anybody other than brown people? When do we see that? Who do we see in those cages? Um, you know, that's not in the news. What's in the news is bullshit. And this is why I tell you guys I don't watch it because it's bullshit. It's distracting us from what's really going on, man. What's happening to these kids? What's happening to our economy? What happened to a former president should really scare the, the shit out of everybody. If they can trump up charges and go after a former president who is a billionaire and has the, the, the monetary means to hire the greatest legal defense and they still say, you know what, let's throw millions at this. What chance do we have? People got to open their eyes, man, and regardless of, of, of political leaning and, and political affiliations, look at what's going on. Why isn't there more stuff in the media right now that if you have money in the bank, if you've been able to save, convert it, convert it to gold and silver. There's a push by certain people to destroy the American dollar, to destroy our economy. Those people pushing that have already moved their stuff into crypto, the majority of it into crypto, into precious metals, into land, into other things. So when this, this thing, if it happens, which it's looking really bad, they just don't want to talk about it, it's going to affect what's left of the middle class in America and definitely the poor. Those of us living paycheck to paycheck. You're, if, you're living, if you're living paycheck to paycheck, you really need to be paying attention to what's going on. Fuck the smoke screen. Fuck the trumped up charges. Pay attention to an organization who was supposed to be unbiased has been weaponized to go after a political arrival of the ruling faction. At this point, it is kind of hard to un even understand who's conservative, truly. That's why they call, they call some rhino, right? Rhino, for those of you that don't know, it's Republican in name only. They're really pushing the liberal agenda. Like I said, I don't expect this video to do much at all. Those of you that hear it, I hope you hear it with unbiased ears. Because what the hell is happening right now, what may be coming up, is way more fucking concerning than a political party, man. No matter how you feel about this country, it really is the greatest system. The only place where you can be, you can be born dirt poor and become a billionaire. Through hard work, through paying attention, through applying yourself. I know my ass ain't supposed to be out here, and I've been hinting to you guys. I'm on the verge of, of doing some really big things. I guarantee you I have a certain amount in my mind that I will be moving into precious metals. 
I practice what I preach. And that's why I made this video. And I know that, that YouTube may uh, make this one red where I can't put it out there. Or if they let it out there, they may uh, stop me from making videos for a week or two. Or knock me completely out of the algorithm. But I don't give a fuck. I've already told you guys I'm doing other things right now where YouTube will always be uh, therapy for me. YouTube is where I told you guys, when I do shit on here, I do it because I want to provoke a positive thought or at least some kind of thought, right? Maybe a positive action, a positive change, a positive impact. We got enough bullshit time on our hands, right? We got to make sure we have that time that means something. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and bring this one to a close, man. Everybody, please be safe. Be smart. Tell the ones you love that you love them and start paying attention. I'm out.